The NBA is a league defined by its stars, athletes who rise to stardom through extraordinary skill, work ethic, and sometimes sheer potential. Andrew Bynum's journey from a promising young center with unlimited potential to a player whose career was derailed by injuries and controversy. This video explores Andrew Bynum's rise in the NBA, the factors that contributed to his early success, and the circumstances that led to his swift decline. The Early Years Andrew Bynum was born on October 27, 1987 in Plainsboro, New Jersey. From an early age, it was clear that Bynum was destined for basketball greatness. His imposing size and natural athleticism made him a standout on the court, and by the time he reached high school, he was already attracting the attention of scouts from all over the country. Bynum attended St. Joseph High School where he quickly became one of the most highly touted of prospects in the nation. During his senior year, Bynum averaged 22 points, 16 rebounds, and 5 blocks per game, solidifying his status as one of the top high school players in the country. His combination of size, skill, and potential made him a coveted prospect, and he was ranked as the second best center in the 2005 high school class. Despite offers from several top college programs, Bynum declared for the NBA draft, opting to forgo college and pursue his NBA dreams. Draft Night The 2005 NBA draft was notable for his depth of talent, with several future All-Stars and Hall of Famers selected that night. Andrew Bynum was just 17 years old at the time and was selected 10th overall by the Los Angeles Lakers, and the Lakers led by legendary Kobe Bryant and head coach Phil Jackson saw Bynum as a project player, a raw talent with potential to become a dominant force in the league. At the time, the Lakers were in a period of transition. Shaquille O'Neal had been traded to the Miami Heat the previous year, leaving a void at the center position. Bynum with the seven foot frame and considerable upside was seen as a replacement for O'Neal, someone who could eventually anchor the Lakers front court for years to come. And Bynum's early years with the Lakers were marked by gradual development. As a rookie, he played limited minutes, often sitting behind veteran centers Chris Mim and Kwame Brown. However, under the wing of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who served as a specialist assistant coach for the Lakers, Bynum began to refine his game. Abdul-Jabbar is one of the greatest centers in NBA history, worked closely with Bynum, helping him develop a more polished post game and improve his footwork. By 2007-2008 season, Bynum had made significant strides in his development and he had become the Lakers starting center and was averaging 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks per game before his knee injury in 2008, which cut his season short. Despite the setback, Bynum's potential was evident and was viewed as a key piece of the Lakers' future. Of the following season, Bynum returned to form, playing a crucial role in the Lakers' run in the 2009 NBA Championship, and his size and presence in the paint were invaluable to the team. Particularly in the playoffs, the Lakers defeated the Orlando Magic in five games to claim their 15th NBA title. Bynum's performance during this period earned him praise from fans and analysts who gave him credit for his contributions to the team's success. The following season, Bynum continued to improve and was once again a key contributor as the Lakers repeated as NBA champions, defeating the Boston Celtics in a hard-fought seven-game series. Bynum's ability to control the paint both offensively and defensively was crucial to the Lakers' success and at just 22 years old, he appeared poised to become one of the league's premier big men. The fall off. Uh, despite his success, Andrew Bottom's career was plagued by injuries, which would ultimately prove to be his undoing. Throughout his time with the Lakers, Bynum dealt with a series of knee injuries that limited his playing time and hindered his development. These injuries not only affected his performance on the court, but also raised concerns about his long-term durability. Bynum's knee problems first became a significant issue during the 2008 season when he dislocated his kneecap against the Memphis Grizzlies, the injury required surgery and forced Bynum to miss the remainder of the season. He returned the following year but was sidelined again in January of 2009 after suffering a torn MCL on his right knee. Although he made a successful return later that season, the reoccurring knee injuries were a troubling sign. In addition to his physical issues, Bynum's attitude and behavior began to draw criticism. As he became a more established player in the league, Bynum developed a reputation for being occasionally uncoachable. His maturity was questioned on several occasions, particularly after an incident in March of 2012, where he was ejected from a game for a flagrant foul on JJ Bereda during a playoff series against the Dallas Mavericks. The foul was widely criticized as reckless and unsportsmanlike, and Bynum's lack of remorse further damaged his reputation. The 2011-2012 season was Bynum's best statistical season. He averaged 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game. He was also named to his first All-Star team and earned All-NBA Second Team honors. However, despite his individual success, the Lakers were eliminated in the second round of the playoffs by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Bynum's performance in that series was inconsistent and his attitude was once again called into question after he skipped a post-game press conference following the Lakers' elimination. The following offseason, the Lakers made a blockbuster trade to acquire Dwight Howard from the Orlando Magic, sending Bynum to the Philadelphia 76ers as part of a four-team deal. The trade was seen as a fresh start for Bynum, 
who was expected to become the centerpiece of the 76ers rebuilding efforts. However, the move marked the beginning of the end of Bynum's NBA career. The beginning of the end. Bynum arrived in Philadelphia with high expectations, but a tenure with the 76ers quickly turned into a disaster. He suffered a knee injury before the start of the 2012-2013 season and was unable to play a single game for the team. The injury was initially downplayed, but as the season progressed, it became clear that Bynum's knee were in worse conditions than previously thought, and he underwent multiple surgeries during the season and his future in the NBA was suddenly in jeopardy. The 76ers who had hoped that Bynum would be the franchise player were left nothing to show for their investment. Bynum's inability to get on the court, coupled with concerns about his commitment to rehabilitation, led to widespread criticism. His time in Philly was followed by controversy, including an incident where he was spotted bowling while recovering from a knee injury, an activity that raised eyebrows given his condition. A Bynum's tenure in Philly ended abruptly and he became a free agent in the summer of 2013, and despite his injuries, Bynum was still seen as a player with potential and he signed a contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers. However, his time in Cleveland was short-lived as he struggled to stay healthy and clashed with the coaching staff, and the Cavaliers eventually suspended him for conduct detrimental to the team and later traded him to Chicago Bulls, who waived him shortly after acquiring him. Bynum made one final attempt to revive his career with the Indiana Pacers, signing with the team in 2014, and he played just two games for the Pacers before being sidelined once again by knee problems. In the summer of 2014, at the age of 26, Andrew Bynum was out of the NBA, his once promising career cut short by injuries and unfulfilled potential. Legacy Andrew Bynum's NBA career is a stark reminder of how quickly things can change in professional sports. At his peak, Bynum was one of the most dominant centers in the league, a two-time NBA champion, and an all-star. However, his career was ultimately defined by what could have been rather than what was. Injuries played a significant role in his downfall, but so did questions about his commitment and maturity. Bynum's story is often cited in discussion about the risk of drafting players based on potential rather than proven ability. While his talents was undeniable, Bynum's career served as a cautionary tale about the importance of work ethic, attitude, and ability to handle adversity. The NBA is filled with stories of players who overcame obstacles to achieve greatness, but Bynum's story is a reminder not every promising talent reaches their full potential. In the years since his departure from the NBA, Bynum has largely stayed out of the public eye. His brief but impactful career remains a topic of discussion among fans and analysts. Particularly when debating the greatest what-if stories in NBA history, Bynum's rise and fall in the NBA is a tale of talent and opportunity, but also of his challenges and pitfalls that come with being a professional athlete. As we reflect on Andrew Bynum's career, it is important to remember both his achievements and the lessons his story offers. Bynum was a player with potential to become one of the all-time greats, and for a few years, he was on that trajectory. However, the combination of his injuries and off-the-court issues ultimately derailed his career. While his time in the NBA was brief, Bynum's impact on the game and the cautionary lessons his story provides will not be forgotten.